I've played an ungodly amount of video games. If I had to guesstimate, over combined two years of my life. Not, I played a couple years off and on, a little bit each day. No, no, no. I've collectively logged two plus years of my life of literal playtime. Unfathomable <laughs> hours upon hours upon hours of grinding. Pure rage-filled enjoyment. No care in the world, none, none whatsoever. What started in middle school with Mega Man Battle Network 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Star Force 1, 2, 3, you get it. So on and so forth. Ironic that it started back with what was basically a hacking video game, a game series about hacking. I've come full circle. Some might call it destiny, some fate. I call it Steven. Gaming spiraled out of control in my junior year of high school with World of Warcraft. Wow, 277 days logged on just one World of Warcraft character. Easily the same amount of time spent on Summoner's Rift and League of Legends. Well over combined 15,000 hours. That does not include every other video game that I've played in my life up till that point, up till this point. TFT, Diablo, Maple Story, you get it. I should be a master according to the laws of physics or whatever, but I never was. A master. I was copper five, basically. Because you know how, how you know this is how the saying goes. If you're not first, you're you're last. Or so I tell myself every day. Gotta be number one, but I never was. Never got close to master's rank. Do I regret playing so much? Fuck no. I was having fun, making memories. But it got pretty bad. Uh, to the point where I had to make a decision. I was at a crossroad in my life. It was either my wife or video. In university, I knew that I was failing my classes because I wasn't spending enough time on my assignments, on learning the material that I needed to study up on, on the concepts that I was struggling with. Time, basically. I didn't have enough of it to obsessively play video games and study the way that I needed to. Because uh, this might come as a surprise to you, but I'm not some savant. I'm pretty stupid. I'm not the smartest kid on the block. I, I, I did excel a little bit in my math classes in high school, but whoo, did I teeter off towards the end there. Uh, right around the time I played, I started playing WoW. Coincidence? No, can't, can't be. No, definitely not. No. And why did I not have enough time? I was trying to get Diamond in Summoner's Rift and Gladiator in WoW. I went hard. I don't half-ass things. I full ask them or no ask them. There's no in between with me. And I remember how important video games were to me at the time. The feeling I got when I ranked up or got new pieces of gear. Ooh, man. Deathbringers will, oh my Lord. Did I feel good when I got that. I was the first one in the guild, by the way, because I parsed hardest. But I needed to get them in order to feel good about myself. Self-validation that I was good enough. Maybe it's because I've never felt good enough. So I chased the feeling and I still do. That feeling never went away. I played to disassociate myself from reality. Probably why most people play video games. If we're truly honest with ourselves. They're fun. They're addicting. You get a dopamine rush when you win a match or you beat a level or you down a boss or you slay a dragon if you're a nerd like me but a break from reality can you really replace that with something kind of that i eventually pull my head out of my ass and stop playing video games kind of but mostly no not really you're not going to replace it you just kind of have to find something you're interested in you something that you're interested in enough that isn't as easily replaceable by video games. It isn't as easily replaced with video games. Find something that you could spend hours upon hours doing and not feel the need to take a break with gaming because that break eventually turns into a full blown gaming session, sweaty late night one with the boys. Nothing major changed in my gaming habits until I found cybersecurity. And it's not that I lost my interest in playing games, more so that I've slowly shifted priorities in my life. I've pretty much outright stopped playing video games the last couple of years for one reason or another. And this is the shift that you need to find in your life. While I was in college, I still played WoW and League and what? basketball. That was the move that made LeBron cry. And I went to the gym most days. Now I'm just a shell of my former self. I've evolved into my final form as questionable overweight dad of four. But the seismic shift that occurred in me was finding cybersecurity. I shit you not. 
As cliche as this sounds, cybersecurity saved my ass because I could not stomach coding. I don't even want to think about where I would be right now, where my family would be right now, uh, if cybersecurity wasn't a thing. Probably still be a mover, honestly. <laughs> I kind of liked it. Good exercise. By the way, I was a mover in college for about four years. Good for a paycheck, bad for the back. That same powerful feeling that people get when they code Hello World for the first time, I got when I ran Metasploit for the first time on a Windows XP Swiss cheese VM, so we called it, and I saw the reverse shell pop up for the first time. It was like a game to me. I think part of the joy that I found in the exploiting computers aspect of my cybersecurity classes were how similar they were to the exploits that I looked for in games. I liked one-shot macros and finding game hacks that made me better than other players. I'm sure that feeling is mutual with lots of people who played as much as I did. Maybe it's just my inner Slav coming out. I don't know, my inner calling to break into things. Point being, I found something that brought me the same satisfaction that I got out of gaming. So in that sense, I replaced gaming with cybersecurity. Maybe cybersecurity can do the same for you. Maybe it can't. Maybe it's coding or any other job that's calling to you. But you have to put in the work to find out what that is if you ever stand a chance of getting your life in order. You have to find the balance between, yeah, I could do this for a little bit, then play later. And before you know it, you'll get that sweet tech job where you can play even more video games now because you work remote. Oh.